Speaking out after the unimaginable, a single mother and her twin two-year-old boys survived a deadly mass shooting rampage in King Sessing earlier this month. I'm Dawn Timoney. It was that mom's worst nightmare as the shooter opened fire on her car, hitting one of her little boys three times. Our Shana Ferreira sat down with Octavia Brown as she described those terrifying moments. For this Philadelphia single mother of three boys, Octavia Brown recounts the traumatic moment that changed her life. I just remember hearing like someone yelling or something. My window was cracked. So I kind of slowed down a little bit and then when I wound up looking forward, like I just seen him standing in front of my car with a big rifle. Brown was driving with her 10 year old niece in the front seat and her twin two year old boys in the back seat on the evening of July 3rd, simply heading to her stepmom's house for a cookout. When the shooter, police identified as Kim Brady character, began his shooting spree in concessing. He was messed up with a vest and then I, he just started shooting. My first instance was to, you know, get, get away, me and my kids, get away. But he was so close to me where I could have reached my hand out the window and touched him. The first couple shots basically was straight to the windshield and he wound up, when I pushed on the gas, he wound up jumping out the way a little bit. So he wound up shooting the whole side of the driver's side up. He was on, he was behind me on the driver's side. So that's how he wound up getting hit in the lead. Two-year-old back here holding on to his mom during our interview was shot three times in the left leg, the bullets going straight through as he was strapped into his car seat. As I was driving off, he still was shooting at my car. He shot the back of my window out and everything. Brown's niece miraculously unscathed as she was able to duck down under the dashboard of the car during the shooting. But bullet fragments and shattered glass wound up slicing both Brown and twin brother Jai Fear. So I had um, glass in my eye. I still got a piece under my eye and my face. I couldn't see out of it. It was three big pieces they removed. Um, it's still blurry. He had um, a piece of bullet fragment and uh, his head. They did say they pushed out. And then he had a tiny piece under his um, left eye. What was going through your head in that moment? Uh, it was the longest ride to the hospital ever. Like, I just seen like blood on them, so I didn't know I just thought we all was shot. Brown says in the chaos of it all, she managed to flag down a police officer who hopped in the car and rushed them to a nearby hospital. I just remember screaming, like, you got to get to the hospital, my kids, my kids. Even when I got away and I fed the cop down, he still heard, like, a lot of gunshots. I'm just, he still shooting. The shooting rampage on 56th and Chester claimed the lives of five people in southwest Philadelphia, leaving this mother grateful to still be here to tell the story with her two boys. However, the trauma and the aftermath of it all is undeniable, especially for two-year-old by Keir. He's constantly by himself. He, the loud noises bothering him. He's putting a blanket over his head. Um, he's not sleeping. The toddler left bandaged up and in pain, afraid to bend his little legs, and as mom says, seems fearful of walking. Even if I touch it, he'll snatch his leg back, but he don't want to, he, he's not walking. He's not standing. They told me that he should be walking by Tuesday, and he haven't yet, so. With that, Brown says her main concern right now is being present for her boys who need all the support and attention they can get. My kids is all I got. And I just want to make sure the well-being of my kids is okay. You know, I'm walking again. Now Brown tells me her boys will go to CHOP for a follow-up, and for two-year-old back here, he should start physical therapy soon with hopes of getting him walking again. The family has a GoFundMe page to support the single mom of three boys. She says she's been out of work this whole time, adding more stress to an already traumatic situation. So if you'd like to donate, we have a link for you on our website, fox29.com. Shana Ferreira, Fox 29 News.